Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from RTN TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here, and today we are looking at Sol 620. Now, these images were taken back in 2014. There's a date there, 2014. And this, I would say, is probably one of the most interesting sets of images ever taken on Mars by any rover, mainly because there's so many different things to see. And what I've done because there's a lot of images in this set here, there's like 700 of them. Um, but a lot of them are, are much smaller and not, not really worth looking at. Uh, but basically what I've done is I've put them into a gigapan and stitched them together basically into a big mosaic. And I've got that here in my folder, I'll show you that in a minute. What I've done is I've got the gigapan and I've uploaded it to Mars Magazine. So if you go to the near the top of the page here, you've got this free gigapan download, 30.5 megabytes. And if you want the larger version, there is a ping version of this. This is a JPEG. This is 30.5. The ping, I think, is about 80 megabytes. And if you want the ping version, please let me know and I'll upload it for you. Uh, and you can download it for free, okay? And there's also lots of other free stuff on this page. Uh, you've got the free app here which will not harm your device. Uh, so if, if your device tells you it might be harmful, ignore that and just press OK, all right? It won't do any harm at all, there's no crap on it. And if you want to download any of my images, there's lots of them here. Uh, this is one I recently put up a couple of days ago. Um, and if you go to the, the photos on this page, there will be hundreds of similar images like this that I've published in recent years. Okay, and you're free to download and share them as much as you like. That's absolutely fine. So come along to Mars Magazine. It's absolutely free to join. I'll join you up straight away. And if you want to see more structures and buildings that I've done over the years in Mount Sharp especially, come along to my channel and look at this playlist on, on the main page here. Mars Buildings and Structures. We've got domes, pyramids, and all sorts of crazy looking structures on Mount Sharp. So, me and other researchers established years ago, almost immediately as, as the Curiosity rover got there, that there are buildings on Mount Sharp. Just because NASA haven't mentioned it, doesn't mean they're not there. NASA are gagged and have been gagged for at least about 10 or 11 years, okay? And possibly a lot longer, perhaps as far back as the Apollo missions, okay? So don't expect them to make a big announcement about buildings, they're not going to. If they were gonna do it, they would have done it already, okay? so. There we are, so check that out and check this out. And what I'll do now is I'll show you the Gigapan. So what's really cool about this Gigapan is we have some good foreground detail, we got some good mid-ground detail and some really good detail in the background. And it's pretty clear, in fact, it's one of the clearest um, set of images that we've had from Mars. And you can see everything, once you remove the orange filter, I mean, when you look at the images as they come, this is what they look like. Very browny, orangey, kind of weird, pukey colour. And uh, to get rid of that, you, you need to colour correct the image. And uh, there are videos uh, and a playlist about how to enhance these images. But if you download the Gigapan I've done, I've already colour corrected it for you. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just take clips of it and uh, do what you like, okay? So if you download the Gigapan from Mars Magazine, you can just take a clip and then zoom into it, do what you like with it, okay? Now I'm gonna start on the left here because this is where it starts getting interesting and I'm gonna scroll across slowly. We've got this weird thing here. Now these are supposed to be buttes, these things here sticking up. Now I don't think they are. I think a lot of these are actual buildings and a lot of them are sort of very ancient and eroded dock side areas that have been broken up and eroded away like we have here, down here. And some of them have got weird sort of domes and shapes to them. You've got this one here. Now if you look really carefully, it's got a dome there which has been ghosted out, okay? Now you often find that with the background areas on Mars. It, it looks like that the people at NASA or JPL are, are blurring out a lot of the background data information here because there are blatant intelligent structures along here and uh, some of them look like they've been smudged or blurred. They haven't been completely removed, but they've been smudged over. And uh, there are many examples of that. So we come along here and then we get to this, which is the Giant Sphinx, which I published a few years ago, which went viral. 
Um, this is one of the best views of it. It's not the only view of it. There are about five or six views of this. This is slightly from behind. And this, from front to back, is about 240 foot long, which is about the same size as the one at Cairo in Egypt, okay? But it doesn't look anything like that one. The face, the head on it, is very alien looking and very odd. Okay, so there's that. And then if we look down here, we've got some crazy looking stuff in the foreground. And we've got this long ridge of, of blocks and, and parts of some kind of structure that have been smashed up. And when we go along to here, we've got what looks like a wall. It's over here somewhere. There it is. Just here. I've got a clip of that, I'll show you. There we are. Very reminiscent of some of the kind of earthquake proof structures you see in South and Central America. In Peru and places like the, some of the pre-Incan structures you see, pre-Inca I should say, structures you see in South America are very similar where you have interlocking stonework that kind of, kind of looks like it's been melted together, vitrified or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's loads of that kind of stuff in, in this gigapan as well. I'm not going to show you all of it because we'll be here all day, all right? So, but the main thing I was going to show you today was beyond these, these buttes and, and strange domes, right at the back, we have this. And we have this rather strange pointed dome kind of butte here, whatever that's supposed to be. And this perfect looking one behind it. It's got a lovely angle. And it's got what looks like a cockpit kind of design to it there. And if you look carefully, you can see construction parts to it, like panels on the side. Now, I'm not saying they are panels. What I think this is, is an artificial dome or structure, like a massive kind of bunker type structure. And where it's eroded away, what you can see is some of the internal structure showing through, okay? Now, it makes a lot more sense uh, in a minute when I, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to turn the contrast up and show you some of the, the structures on that, okay? But I really do recommend this Gigapan. It is awesome. And uh, you've got some really interesting stuff here. And there's also this, which is rather odd. This looks like petrified wood, some of this, where it's broken up and you've got this really interesting texture to it. This looks like a little boat here. I'm not saying it is a boat, it's shaped like a boat. I've done videos about that. There's all sorts of crazy stuff. And some of it looks carved, some of it looks intelligent, but most of it is heavily smashed up and destroyed. But this is the main one for today's purposes. And I'm gonna show you it in here because I've got a clip of it. And what I've done is I've rotated it around a bit. Now this is much darker. Now this is from uh, the PDS version of this. I think this was from the Gigapan done by Neville Thompson. So credit to him for, for compiling that Gigapan because it's pretty good. And uh, if, you, if I darken this up a bit more, we should start to see the actual shapes in here, okay? Now, bear with me. We've got this one here, okay? They've got all these kind of angled parts, okay? And you can see this one very clearly, just there. And then it comes down like that, across. It kind of goes to there, and we've got another panel there. It looks like it's been made up of panels. And as if the, the, the thing was constructed from steel or something, and then it was covered in concrete. This looks like construction. You can see the actual parts. There's another part there. This comes around to here. We've got a rounded part there. And we've got some more complex kind of panel structures here. Okay. Now this is from the PDS image. Now the PDS is, is, is not really being compressed down at all. And is very close to the original quality of the, of the actual digital photograph. So these are not um, JPEG artifacts because it's not a JPEG. Uh, and if you look carefully in here, it looks like a cockpit. We've got part of that coming down there, we've got a reflected part there. Got another part there, and then that kind of goes like that. We've got the darker bit here, underneath. 
So this looks like construction. There's another panel there. You can see smaller panels in, in, in between the, the larger ones or smaller sections. You've got this box section at the back, which comes up like that. Absolutely insane. Um, and, and the more you look at it, and it depends how much you darken it, let's actually brighten it a bit as well now and see if we can get some of that to pop out a bit more. Because you've really got to play with the contrast with this because sometimes if you go too hard, it, it, will, it will hide stuff. Let's go a bit brighter again. Now you can actually see what looks like this cockpit a bit more clearly. Now I'm not saying this is a cockpit, because cockpits are on aircraft. But this thing is shaped like an aircraft and it, it almost looks like some kind of ship that's kind of landed and what we're seeing is, is, the, is the, the main kind of citadel structure of it and there may be a kind of structure underneath. I mean it's really odd. Uh, I'm not saying it's a, a spaceship but I'm just saying it's kind of shaped like one and this may be a kind of giant bunker as I said earlier and you can actually see very reflective parts here as if this is glass just there. You've got these very reflective parts here and here, okay? And in here you've got a kind of square part there, and you've got these other bits here. It all looks kind of smashed up, but to me, if you look carefully, let's go back to the lighter image there, you might be able to see more. You can see these shapes in here, and if, I mean, this is enormous. Now, if that, uh, Sphinx I showed you is half the distance away to, as this, which is probably is probably about two kilometres away. The Sphinx. This is probably four kilometres away. Okay, maybe maybe four and a half, five, and it's massive. Now this is probably somewhere in the realm of about six hundred metres from here to here, five or six hundred metres, possibly bigger. I don't know exactly. So if these are panels or construction parts, these are massive. Absolutely huge. You can see them once you know they're there, especially this one. You can really see these these shapes. Now, Mother Nature doesn't build like that. It's just too good. These things are way too good to be true. They are not natural structures. Now, they may have been partly constructed from a natural structure and then modified. That may be the case. I mean, when we build um, things like, used to build things like castles and and, uh, and build things like dams and stuff like that, uh, huge structures, we use the natural topography first and then add to it. And uh, this may be what we're seeing here. We, we may be seeing a natural structure that's been converted into a kind of bunker-like thing. See, this is interesting here. You've got these bits coming down here and you've got these kind of ramp-like structures at the front. And there's a oval, kind of roundish oval-shaped thing there. So, is it natural? I don't think so. And bear in mind some of the other things that I've published in the area, like pointed domes and pyramids and crazy-looking but massive bunker-like hangar structures and things like that. And you can actually see this thing at the back a bit clearer now, look. Look at that. Let's go in a bit closer. It doesn't get extremely clear because this is a long way off. I mean, this is miles away from the rover. But this is so big, you can actually see the shapes pretty well. The main shapes. There's a, something there. That may even be an entrance or something. Who knows? Um, so what is it? Is it a bunker? Is it a ship? Is it a kind of armoured dome? Was this a dock area, like I suggested? Are many of these buttes actually uh, parts of the dock area that was once here? This was all water along here. So it really does look like that. When you see all these rows of buttes all in a line along here, and then we have what looks like constructed stone walls down here, which are all kind of broken up. Uh, this wall goes right along here as if this had kind of dock side that's, that was once a, one huge long structure, this thing here. But it's all been broken up. It's all kind of dilapidated and, and ruined. 
but these kind of blue, this blue wall like structure goes right along here, all the way along. Now, this is probably from here to here about well, a, a good mile across here, at, at this part of the image. I mean, this part of the back goes on for miles and miles. Uh, what we're seeing here is a very long area. The ship-like structure, or, or whatever it is, the pointed bunker, how big is that? I mean, if this is four mi uh, say four kilometres away, how long is that? That must be half a kilometre long. Or, or something like 500 metres or 600 metres long. It's got to be huge. Absolutely insane. And then we have this ramp that goes up, which people thought was a road going up Mount Sharp. It does look, look a bit like one, actually. It goes right up here. And you've got all these weird domes and stuff up here. Some crazy looking buttes and domes and mental looking structures. And then you come back over here, we've got the, the giant sphinx. That's a bit of a giveaway. I mean, these are intelligent structures. There's no doubt about it. It's just unfortunate that we're seeing them after millions of years of erosion and possibly a planetary war that destroyed the area and much of Mars and, did, and ruined the atmosphere. Um, so there we are. I'll call it a day now. I'll put these clips in at the end. I'll show you some more of these. We've got that wall here. That was interesting. Really cool. That looks like something straight out of South America, like a pre-Inca structure with blocks that are kind of moulded together. Two layers of them there. Okay. That looks like construction. And then we have this thing. I forgot about this. This is one of the so-called buttes and it has a, a, a circular part to it here. Now, I don't know what that represents. It seems to have some kind of emblem on it as well, just there some kind of detail in, inside. You can see it quite clearly in, in, the, in the Gigapan. So I do recommend you download that and, and clip some of the parts out and have a real good close look because there's some absolutely mental stuff here. When you look at individual images, it's very hard to tell what size things are. And when you see it all laid out in, in, the, in order like this, it gives you a much better idea of scale and how enormous some of these things must be. And uh, you've got loads and loads of weird stuff in the foreground. I don't think there are any actual specimens in the foreground, unlike many of the other souls that you get. But this is more about construction, buildings, walls, dockside areas, so-called buttes that actually look like part of the docks that have eroded away here, all in long lines, OK? I'll put some more clips in in a second. Please like give the thumbs up and like uh, the video if you can it really helps and share the video uh, my channel seems to be being restricted by the people at YT at the moment and uh, I've had a lot of fun and games with them recently they've been mucking around with my figures and uh, something doesn't add up but uh, I'm sure it'll be resolved soon hopefully they've, they've been doing a lot of updates to their algorithms recently and uh, some of us have ended up on the on the wrong end of that I think and uh, whether that's deliberate or not, I don't know. So there we are. So please share the video. That will really help me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.